Hey Vibes fam, welcome back to my channel where good food and good vibes is a must. I to welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making some aki and red herring. Now this is one of my favorite and here are the ingredients that I will be using. So let's work on this red herring and it is going to be a lot of work. So I have three whole red herring different sizes, right? and push that to the side and then i'm going to work on the biggest one first so let's bust it open and vibes fam all of this that you're seeing at, at first yeah you have to get rid of all of those that's the guts and all the stuff and the egg and the this and that so you're gonna take those out right so we don't reach the good part yet that you can eat right so we don't reach there yet so dig in and here we reach to the lots and lots of bones so you have to pick out all the well not necessarily all the bones because trust me they are so fine some of the bones are so fine so you kind of can't get rid of all of them right that would be a lot a lot of work but you're gonna get rid of most of them so you're gonna take off the bone right take out the bone right and then and that big, big bone right there, <laughs> yes, you want to take that out as well. Make sure you look on it and see if there's any meat that you can take out. So now we're almost getting to the nice part, right? As in, we're getting to the meat of the matter. So yeah, let's start tearing off meat. So this is your first little piece of meat. Look at you, little meat. Okay, and then there's another piece. So right, we're taking out the meat from in the middle yes not our from inside after your d guts it and everything right so that right there nope we do not want that we don't want the skin well all right let me back up because maybe there's somebody i'm sure there's somebody who like the skin if you like the skin then use the skin right but i'm trying to take all the meat from inside of it and you know the least amount of bone as much as possible so here we have the next the middle piece of bone and look at that right there that's gonna be a big piece oh look there that's all meat right there vibes fam put it on the tray yes get all that meat and then we're going to break it up further i know we're not going to use them so big right so yeah get that and sometimes when you tear off a piece of meat you still have to take off bone off of it so right there on the skin you see that you just tear off the tear off the meat off the skin right there and that's the skin and i'm done with that so this is all the bone from the bones from everything from all three of the red herring and here is the meat now vibes some trust me is always more bone than anything else so here i'm putting some oil in my pot and then i'm gonna add garlic and onion So I put the onion in for about a minute, right? And then I added the garlic and I'm sauteing everything. Vibes fam, trust me, the aroma, you want to do it this way. You really want to bring out all those flavors. So try and break apart the onion if it close together. So now I'm adding sweet peppers. I'm adding green and red. And then I'm adding some pimento seed, thyme and green onion or scallion as we call it in jamaica so go ahead and mix up everything now guess what if you are an oil lover in your food even though i'm going to add a little bit more oil but just in case you don't know that about me i do not like oily food i don't like my food to have too much oil in it right so if you want more in your pot then go ahead and add it so i'm gonna cover this for about four minutes let me add some scotch bonnet pepper first and then give it a little more mix and then i'm gonna cover this for about four minutes or so you know cause everything to come together combine those beautiful flavors four minutes and then that's gonna be us So yeah vibes so now i'm going to add the red herring so i use like just a little bit more than half 
of what I showed you guys, everything that I had, right? By the way, when you take off the cover, because it's steaming, there's going to be water. I normally, it, sometime I let the water, the water run off in the pot and sometime I don't, right? It's not dirty water, <laughs> just in case. So you want to go ahead and mix up everything, combine it and vibes from the flavors are, mm, 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 your kitchen smells so good at this point in time. So we're going to cover this right and give it about a five minutes add more oil if you want but oh i added a little more of the red herring first right and then i'm gonna cover it So yeah, vibes fam, I'm, I'm going to cover this for about five minutes. Let me add some black pepper first, then cover it. No, I didn't add the black pepper. I didn't. <laughs> okay, so um, this is it after five minutes and I'm adding can aki. So what I did, I poured the aki in a colander and then I pour hot water on it to wash off the water that come in the can. That's the part, trust me vibes fam, to get the aki tasting like the aki that you know, you have to pour off that water and wash it off with some hot water, right? So now we're going to mix up everything, mix up, mix up, combine, combine, roll together, roll together. We're just a roll and a roll and a stroll and a stroll, right? Yeah, the strolling is the... <laughs> It's taking place in the pot. So you want to take your time and mix this up because remember the aki basically cook already, right? Yeah, the aki, it's on the softer side because it's the can aki. So yeah, go ahead and I'm going to add some black pepper. Here's the black pepper now and we're going to cover it. So this we're going to give five minutes again. And vibes fam, here we have it. Here we have this delicious pot of redderin and aki or aki and redderin, whichever way you want to say it. Yes, just delicious, delicious and nice and nice. Just so good. Okay, first thing, comment down below and tell me what would you have this with? What would you have this with? I like to hear, you know. By the way, are you subscribed and next thing do you have the notification bell on because if you don't then youtube is not going to alert you when i post a video right but yes vibes fam you want to go ahead and try this recipe when i tell you say it nice and it nice and it nice i had it with boiled dumpling by the way yes 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 so good 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 look at beautiful and when i tell you by the way oh don't add any salt do not add any salt the red ring is salt all by itself do not add any salt but yeah vibe sam thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me go ahead and follow me over on instagram please but thank you so much thank you for the support i really do appreciate each and every one of you may god bless you and continue to enlarge your territories thank you god bless you